Welcome guys to a ranked game which was played a week or so ago. Oh my god, it's jumping around a lot. Oh, let's hope the replay system isn't so that put it in. Twitch Leona and bot lane. Mainly because Leona is one of the champions I'm most comfortable on and Twitch is one of the ones that Michael's comfortable on and they have good synergy as well. So as you saw, we did golems early to get an early level 2. And Leona, your Q shield of daybreak is a stun. Basically, it's a stun, and you have to sort of be in auto attack range. It adds it to the next auto attack. Your passive sunlight. All your spells, when they hit enemies, they do bits of damage. That right there is all with Zenith Blade, which is a um, sort of. You fire it out, it's like a skill shot, and you have to, if you hit a um, enemy champion with it, then you get sort of pulled to their location, and then if you use your Q straight after, they're pretty much stuck. Silver of the moon. So, yeah, she's a CC monster, basically. I'm sorry there's a attempting to reconnect in the middle, let's hope that just goes away and it's just the spectator bug. But yeah, start fairy charm, two wards, a vision ward, that's quite man mode. Take a turret shot, but First, if we can keep Vayne using her health potions, like she's already used two health potions and Michael's only had to use one. I haven't had to use one yet. So yeah, but yeah. Two wards, a vision ward, health potion is a good sort of starting setup. Or another one you can do is cloth armor, two wards, and a potion. That's with one point in the Greed Mastery. This is still on Season 2 patch of Doom. Hasn't got all the updated sight stone and all that stuff yet. But, yeah, as you can see, we kind of took control of the lane early by poking them down, and now we can just zone them at the tower and make them miss last hits. So, if we press the tab, we can see... Like, it's actually behind. But he's got more health potions, and we've sort of got m more like presence in the lane, like where we're sitting. As you can see there, there Nunu doesn't have any potions. I've still got my potion left, which I'm pretty sure I do. Yeah. Okay, so just going to check to see if there was anyone there. Thought I might get lucky and randomly grab onto Nunu and see what I can do, but. As you can see, he was on low health because of the harass. Uh, Twitch is... I guess I should go over Twitch's um, spell so you can see how he works uh, after I go over my W. W is a shield. You'll see... But it's not It's not a shield as in it gives you like an extra sort of bar of health, like the little white bars that appear. It's not one of those shields. It's a, it increases your um, magic resistant armor. So you'll see sort of whenever I go to engage, I'll put my W on. And it just means that you can tank so much more. Nearly level 4. And yeah, so Twitch. His Q is ambush, which makes him go invisible. Uh, for, and that's like, I think it's a second, but it can be taken up to 3.5 seconds depending on whether you get hit or not. <coughs> uh, his. W is a uh, casket toss, I think it's casket toss, it's something like that, but it applies two stacks of his passive, which is a damage over time poison thing, An which does true damage, slain. so it's pretty powerful. An ally has been slain. Your E is expunge, and that, basically what it does, it every stack of your passive you have on the champion, it does extra damage, which is what you could see Vayne struggling with here, she can't come anywhere near, because and just chuck the casket and then just slowed as well with the casket attack a couple of times and then expunge so if I even land a zenith blade she's screwed at this point so we're applying good pressure just because of our ability to poke more than they can when we're pushing up gonna have to go and ward again because that ward's run out and I'm gonna place down the vision ward just in case just because then we can keep control over it at the moment and as we've pushed up so far, I've put it near Dragon because I was kind of expecting a gank at some point. I mean, we haven't really seen Xin Zhao too much. And yeah, so just keep on farming and 
pressurizing until I can get a zenith blade, there's nothing we can do. Okay, level 5. I think the strongest type for me on the owner and lane is 5 through 9. Like, before then you don't have sort of quite the defenses to... To, um, like, jump in and be crazy if the opposing AD is good enough. That was very close. Oops. Tower hit for no reason, Zindy has mid, so... Thought we should go aggressive there and see, see if we can kill her, but just completely whiffed my Zenith blade. And yeah, Skull Max first is W, which is an awesome, which is the awesome shield thing. And basically, yeah, runes uh, marks are. There's one critical strike mark, I think, to get that one percent. Then there is. Ooh. Oh, well, I'm not sure what's going on there. Then there's some magic pen marks, and yeah, I think that's it, basically. Then my yellows are mainly armor. There's a couple of little mana regen ones in there. Oh, oh that's a dead vein. That was a very dead vein. Actually, Michael, do it while I find a couple of friends. No! Come on, come and help me! See? Exactly. Ah, oh, Dino! Yeah! That was, that was, that was worth it. We got him another kill, so... Oh, Flash! Yeah. Alright, Ben's in jail's Flash. Burn mine as well, and my exhaust, but... Reasonable. So, first back, got myself ruby crystal and boots. Could have gone for a heart of gold, but I wanted the mobility so I could land some more Zenith blades. And as we're ahead in lane, and as you can see, he's already got a BF sword. No Dawn's blades. Who needs them? Then we'll be looking to looking to hurt them a lot. So, yeah, I'm not quite level six yet. And when I hit six, you'll see my amazing ultimate, which it's like a stun thing of that is just cool like you'll you'll see it when when we get there an ally has been right, slain so. an enemy has just been slain get back to farming for a little bit try to go aggressive missed zenith blade but michael's going man mode even though vane's in her ultimate uh oh this isn't good what the balls I don't know how I ended up over there. Oh well, here we go. Double kill. Gave him the tools to get the maybe. Yeah, go 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 go. <laughs> Expunge, so powerful. It does redonkulous damage if you max it first. But yeah, it's awesome. Got him another. Got him another killed. And I died, but double kill for, for 80 carriers worth it in my opinion. Rather not die, but I'm six, which is the same as both of them, and Twitch is two levels ahead, which is always awesome. So now back to lane. Just sit around until Dilly gets over here, and then we'll see if we can kill them again. So I've been sacrificing myself a bit, but it has meant that uh, Mr. Michael has gone 4 0, zero at this point. I've died twice, but okay, so he's gone into stealth mode, and here we go! Destruction! And that's how you just own face. So that was my ultimate, the big thing that there was. And that, um, it sort of has two effects. If it hits, if you hit it in the middle of the ultimate, then they're stunned. If it's like around the edge, sort of, you see it was quite a big area, and if I, I don't know, it doesn't show the actual size of it on that but it's and quite a large area and it's pretty awesome An ally has been slain. Double kill. but yeah it slows in the outside area kill. What the? don't know quite how Olaf just got himself a triple kill but it's awesome scare him off he's level five so he can't he can't do anything and we're just gonna are we gonna take the tower I'm not sure I think I'm gonna very rewarding. They're blue. 
There we go. And let's hope he's able to get away. He didn't just stay too long for some silly reason. Alright, we're ready to go back in. I'm gonna land it. No, that was that was a little silly. I should have realised she was gonna be a bit further out. Ooh, rain. Do you really want to be on him? Be interesting. Uh. Come on, Twitch. Come on. Enemy double kill. Oh dear, that was a bit silly. May have gone a little aggressive there. And good, good point, Katarina. Why didn't you shot? Walk and shoot. Yeah, yeah. Well, he was trying. Okay, now he's gone to the bit more defensive stuff. And I've got a heart of gold and philosopher's stone and a cloth armor because I normally build ninja tabai. Because ninja tabai are cool. Are we going to do anything about blue buff or are these two not paying attention? They're not paying attention. Gone. No. Volley there. Bot there. Right. Do double golems when your lane is pushed and then some extra XP and stuff. I'm only level 8, but that's fine. It's fine of me. Vayne's level 8. It's good having Twitch two levels above. And he's just gonna hit level 11 earlier, therefore we're gonna be able to kill them very quickly. Your team has destroyed a turret. Okay. Ooh, that was close. But as you can see the harass from Twitch is silly. Like you just land the cup. Basket, casket, da 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 basket thing. And then she dies. Okay, I was hoping she would actually get me up a bit quicker than that. But. Oh my god, am I gonna live? I've got flash. Yes! Oh, the plays! Uh oh. Mm, yeah, we can't really turn on that one. I have like 100 health. Ooh, God. Um, I'm not sure why he's stuck around. Is he gonna get Zinjao? He is. No. Nope. Alright. Zinjao's passive on his W or E. Too strong. I can't remember which one it is. What am I gonna go by? What am I gonna go by? So he's now 6 and 2, but better than Vayne, who's just 3 and 4. And has an infinity edge at 15 minutes, which is very good. Like, that's really early. I've gone for a chain vest. Was this... I think I might go, um... Frozen Heart this game, if I remember rightly. Or I'm building towards Random and Zoom. It's one of the two. I can't exactly I remember. It depends on sort of what Shut I felt down. like, really. Let's get, get Twitch Red Buff. This Twitch Red Buff is, like, super, super strong. An enemy has been Big slain. fight going on up there that is going reasonably well. Cat got a double kill and is chasing down Diana. Annoying about. Oh my god. Oh. Meanwhile, we'll just push mid and make the most of it. But yeah, you're passive on the owner. The sunlight, like. I'm not sure if I explained it properly, but. If it hits a enemy. Champion then it has destroyed a turret. Then one of your friends uses a is it just an ability? No, it's just damage to um to them. Then they um take even more damage because your sunlight debuff. As you can see at the moment it's eighty magic damage it does. So you got Twitch at level eleven, so he's got a second level of his ultimate, which is spray and prey, which does like a really long range um penetrating shot thing. This does not look like a... Oh my god, this Olaf is pretty fed though. Like, let's see what we got. I'm going man mode. Just jumped into the middle of him. 
the shield on here, yeah, take like no damage. I've locked up two of them. Uh, I'm trying to get my exhaust off in vain. As you can see, I'm just man mowing it in the front of the um, in the front. So I exhausted vein, which cleansed it. Ooh, this is on a really bad there. I really should have hit that. But cat has gone insane. She does lots of damage. Oh, I'm gonna grab Leon like a boss. No, Diana like a boss, sorry. Yeah, man, that was good. I saw that she was low and trying to escape that one, so... I'm pretty proud of myself for that one. It's pretty good. So, 723 and 237. Same numbers. Let's go for Dragon. Gonna get it before they arrive. We are. I was pretty sure I was completely screwed here, so I just tried to land as much as I could, and get everyone away. And I was right in the fact that I was going to be screwed. Let's see if these two can get away. I would think so. Uh oh. Let's see if she knows how to use condemn. I'm sorry, the health bar is broken. And then Cat arrived. Dear Lord. She's dead as well. And she has three eyes. So she's got, what's that, 408 ability power? Or is it 308? Can't quite see. Yeah, so. Yes, it was going to be Randwin's Omen, but I've only built the Warden's Mill and then I've built a Kindle Gem. So I was kind of diversifying. I wasn't sure whether I wanted the Randwins or a Zeke's Herald first, by the looks of it. Okay. So Diana is pushing down this lane. Just defend it from her. She's still pushing it, so. But no, no one was coming to help me. And if Diana was being kept busy down on this lane, that was kind of better for us than her being up there if she doesn't get any kills. Ah, uh, why is the camera bugged out? But yeah, no one on my team is coming to help me. So. Not quite sure why, but I guess they were just too busy taking out the turrets. And Diana just wanted to try and kill me, but kept missing her crescent. Crescent sweep, strike, I can't remember. One of them is um, Zinjao's, and one of them is not Zinjao's, it's Diana's. So I just better check, because. Twitch decided he wanted to come down and she's already gone. Which is alright. Get the tower alive. Got a few minions for myself, get some more money. And now we're pushing up this tower. Alright. So a new team has gone for the Baron yet. I haven't been up there to ward in a while, so there's no wards there because no one else on our team has wards, although I don't have any wards on me either, so. Next go back, that'll be one of the big things to get. Gonna take the tower and then leave, because we saw the rest of their team moving across. Ooh, yep. Yeah, we did. Although we may be able to kill one of them, depending on... Yeah, we've, we've definitely got this. I'm not sure what we'll do. Yeah, you'll see... Oh, yeah, I lost the ninja a little late there. Okay. So cleanup crew are coming in, and now as you can see, I'm just trying to follow Vayne because in this situation, Vayne is the one that we need to shut down. She can do ridiculous amounts of damage, and as I lost, as Twitch had died, I couldn't really follow him to protect him. Uh oh, let's see what happens. Oh man, that cat! 
So much damage. Alright, so that'll probably be GG. I think that was a uh, very nicely done team fight. And yeah. Run away, run away, run away! Got ourselves an inhibitor, so now we'll run away back to base. Maybe go straight for Baron and then win. It would be a good plan. As you can see, I've got Shirley's Reverie and Miranda wins, so I'm really pretty useful now. I can just speed everyone up with Shirley's Reverie, because that's what it does. And then slow the enemy team when I get in to the middle of them with Miranda wins. And it slows their attack speed as well. <laughs> okay, so found them, jumped into a trap, stunned them all, oh my god, am I going to get away? No. That was a little bit of a trap, I would admit, but now I've cleaned up through here, with Twitch just rocking, rocking face, oh man, so much damage. There we go! So that was a bit silly, we went over the wall not expecting there to be five people, but it all went fine. It all ended fine, because then all the rest of our team were reasonably close, so jumping in, sacrificing myself to burn a load of ulties and things is always worth it if you know that your team is going to be able to come, come in later and win. Okay, so pushing in. These two are trying to take top tower. Not particularly successfully, but there we go. And let's see. You know, one last fight. You may well do. These two are a little low to be fighting, really. They need to go back and. They need to go back and buy. Mm -hmm. You can see I don't care, I'm just going to jump in. Like, you can see Chogaf doesn't have his stacks, so... Burnt Rando and Shirley, so if run away, I'll run in. Now, as you can see, I've focused on towards Vayne to try to cut her out of the fight. The Zenith Blade. Altered to try to see if Vayne had gone that way. She hadn't, but it was worth trying. And there we go. Very nicely done. Oh, I jumped onto Vayne. <laughs> no one else was there. At this point, we kind of knew, knew it won, so it was worth trying to go for Vayne. She was sitting there on like quarter HPs. Yeah, the twitches and um, images can get crazy if you get uh, hit in the head enough in lane, but if you don't, then you're kind of a bit screwed because it's not the best at coming from behind. There we go. Good game there. Victory. But they didn't go like it wasn't a walkover like a game we're going to show you soon. But it went all right. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. <laughs>